show you guys how I harvest greens in my poly tunnels. It's a little bit nebulous, it's a bit tricky, but it can be done. You just have to be very careful. So first I got to pull off the poly tunnel and I, I don't have to open it all the way. I can just kind of, what I'll often do is just clip it to the halfway point if I only need to harvest one part of the bed, then I don't need to cover it all the way. That'll just make it easier to cover back up when I'm finished. And as I go in to start, like I can't just walk through the bed like I normally would, so I kind of have to straddle it and go in all my different positions to harvest it. And at the front, I kind of just do a side sweep, kind of cut it on, on its side. And it's also really important at this time to make sure your harvester is super sharp because this time of year when greens are always just wet because it's high precipitation, cool temperatures, they never dry. Um, you need to make it really, it needs to be sharp because if it isn't, you're, you're just going to knock the greens over and they're going to fall over easier because of the weight of the water on them. So it's got to be super sharp and I just kind of take different positions and then once I get into the tunnel, I can pretty much just walk down the middle and then just go over each hoop as I go along and um, you'll see as I'm doing this just how, how I kind of balance that. So it's a bit tricky. Um, one thing that I'll point out right now that's easier about doing this is that I don't have my rope ridge poles on yet. I will uh, in a couple weeks because once the rope ridge poles are on, it's gonna it's even harder to harvest. So I don't always put them on um, unless I need to. So if it's a crop that I'm not gonna touch and it's just gonna sit for the winter, like these spinach beds when I cover them up they'll get roped up and all tied down right away. If you haven't seen my video on poly low tunnels, click up here and you can check that one out. Um, so I, I don't need to rope these ones in. It's gonna make it easier to manage if they're not. And so I'm basically just going through and have to go in all kinds of different positions to get at the bed, but that's more or less it. Hope you guys have found that helpful. If you wanna see more stuff like this, please hit the subscribe button right now. Like and share these videos with your friends. And check out my website, theurbanfarmer.co, where you've got links to my book, my one day workshop, and my online course, profitableurbanfarming.com. And if you guys would like to make a contribution to the show to help me take the time to make this kind of content, it's much appreciated and always welcome. You can do that at theurbanfarmer.co slash support. All right, see you soon.